What's scary about biochemistry? I won't bite you. I know I'm not taking names. And it's okay to be scared about biochemistry. The first time I took biochemistry, I hated it. I was an undergrad, thought I wanted to be a veterinarian. For those of you who are veterinarians. Yes, sir? Because uh, organic chemistry is involved. Organic chemistry is involved. Was organic chemistry enthralling to you? It was tough. It was, tough. was it interesting? Oh, good. Okay. It okay. It was tough. What was tough about it? Memorizing all the reactions. I'll make you a deal. You'll have to memorize a handful of structures in here. Very few. Memorizing structures is the way they used to teach biochemistry. Don't need to do that anymore. You can look it up on the web. You can look it up on a book. There's a, there's a handful of structures that you'll have to know. Maybe 10, something like that. OK? So, so structures won't be what this is all about. Mechanisms won't be what this is all about. You will see very, very little from me in terms of mechanism. How something goes to this, goes to that, goes to that. <laughs> Party hardy, right? OK, what else about biochemistry scares you? Yes? Pathway memorization. Pathway memorization. Yeah, we've got some pathways to do. We've got some pathways to do. I'll give you guys some tricks for learning pathways. But since you're learning pathways, you're not going to necessarily be memorizing the structures of those pathways. You may be doing some names. You may be doing some enzymes. But I promise you, I will only make you know pathways that are important pathways. <laughs> he, he, finds this, he finds this funny. <laughs> My, aren't all of them important? Well, well, as a matter of fact, not all of them are as important as others. No, they're not. So, um, and since I guess I'm the guy that gets to decide what's important, I guess that's, that's only fair, right? So. The major pathways, which are called what are called central metabolic pathways, we find in virtually every cell. And we'll talk some about those pathways. But I'll, I'll wager you that memorizing pathways isn't the major thing that you'll do in this course. I hope not. If you get to the end and, and you find that it was, let me know, and I'll be happy to um, think about that. I like the feedback I get from my students. Each term, I think I learn something new from my students. And that's one of the reasons I like to have dialogue a little bit. So okay, what else? What else about biochemistry? Nothing else scares anybody about biochemistry? How about, what about me? <laughs> Surely there's something about me that scares you. Anybody know any bald jokes? <laughs> Nobody knows any bald jokes? You guys like jokes? I don't usually tell jokes on the first day. I mean, I save my jokes for later in the term. If I tell all my jokes at the beginning, then I won't have anything to tell you later in the term. Would you rather have it like in the middle of this term when you're feeling kind of low, you want to have a joke, or is today the day that you've got to have a joke? Today. You're planning to cut out in the middle of the term? Is that is that the thinking? I ain't going to be here then. <laughs> I'll be out to throw that frisbee. <laughs> a joke. OK. Uh, let's see, a joke. How about um, Artie the Hitman? You ever hear about Artie the Hitman? Artie is this little guy, and he decides he wants to be a hitman. So he decides if he's going to be a hitman, he's got to get some practice. He's got to get some experience, right? So he gets some experience. Well, he decides he's going to knock off some people for, you know, like a reduced rate, so maybe he can make a, make a name for himself. So he puts this little ad up on the bulletin board, you know, and it says, you know, we'll kill somebody. You know, for a, a dollar. <laughs> well, this generated a little interest, and this one guy says, "Wow, perfect!" So he grabs the card, he takes it, gives Artie a call, and says, uh, "Artie says, yeah, how can I help you?" And he says, "Well, he says, uh, <clears throat> I'd like you to kill my wife." He goes, "Yeah." He said, "I got your little coupon here. You know, coupons are good when you go to kill people, right?" Said, oh, a dollar? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, I'd be happy to. Um, what would you like me to do? Well, he says, um, "I'd like you to strangle her." And he says, Strangler. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, I, I could do that for a dollar. And uh, where would I find her? Well, he says, she, right now she's down at the grocery store. If you go down there now, you can find her. She's wearing this, you know, he describes her and so forth. So Artie says, okay. So he goes down to the grocery store and he gets down there. He looks around and sure enough, there she is. She's over in the produce section. Looks around. There's nobody around. Perfect. 
He goes and he grabs up and he grabs her and he strangles her to death right there in the produce section. He looks around. Oh, there's one of the clerks. Just saw him. He runs. He goes over. He grabs the clerk. He strangles him. Okay. He's ready to make his getaway. He looks. Ah, oh, my lucky day. Here's somebody else. Can't leave any witnesses. So he strangles this person. Okay. He finally decides, I'm getting out of here. Strangles the last person, gets out. He goes running down the street and the police catch him. You know what the headline in the newspaper says the next day? Artie chokes three for a dollar at the grocery store. <laughs> no. Please don't encourage me. Okay. All right. That's enough of that. So you won't tell me about what bugs you about biochemistry. You won't tell me what bugs you about me. There you go. So what do you think we should be most afraid of in this class? <laughs> oh, if I told you that. <laughs> you know, I don't think you should be afraid of anything in this class. Um, I, I'm an honest believer in the power of positive thinking. And one of the reasons I go through this sort of silly charade up here with you at the beginning is to hopefully cut through some of that. I don't think there's anything that you should be afraid of because I think when you're afraid of something, what happens is you don't perform your best. People get stressed and they don't perform as well as they could. And that happens with a subject like biochemistry and I'm very aware of it. Um, I know that biochemistry is a subject that a lot of people A, have fear of and B, um, have I think uh, an unreal uh, thought about. Okay. Fear works on the unknown. and Fear works on irrational things and things that we can't touch and we can't feel and we can't see. And if I can cut through that, then I don't think you've got anything to be afraid of. I honestly don't think you have anything to be afraid of. I will tell you it's a difficult subject, but there are difficult things that you do in your life and you're not afraid of those. Okay? Relationships, man, they terrify people, right? Okay? Taxes, supporting yourself, no health care? These are things to be afraid of. Okay? Biochemistry is not something that you should be afraid of. You may be afraid of it, but I don't want you to be. And so if there's something I can do to stop you from being afraid, that's why I'm up here doing this. Okay? Okay. So I'm not just a goofy guy. I'm a goofy guy too, but I'll be a biochemistry instructor. All right. Well, let's get started. So let's talk about why biochemistry is exciting, why biochemistry um, is of interest uh, to students. Okay. Um, when you click on the schedule button, you'll see the schedule. And the schedule will have the outline. If you want the figures that I'm going to use, you'll see that they're available in your Blackboard account. And you can actually download those figures and print them out and bring them to class with you. If you do that, then you won't be trying to scramble and draw all those figures I'm showing you on the board. Okay? You can just scribble little notes in there and that helps you a lot. So these figures are all available for the whole term. You can download the whole term and have them in a notebook and bring them in with you and print them out and you can have something to help you take notes. Okay? So bring figures with you. Don't try to copy everything down as I'm going because I do tend to go fast. Okay. Well, you'll find the figures and the figures, of course, will be visible through here. I have outlines through which I do things. The first, we start the very first day with the basics of biochemistry, the basic chemical foundations of biochemistry. We say biochemistry and we think of the fact that it is the chemistry of living cells. Chemistry going on inside of cells. And there was a time when people said, there is way, it's way too complex. We will never understand biochemistry. We'll never understand the chemistry that's going on inside of cells. Well, one of the things you learn in science is you never say never. Because today we have a very, very good understanding of the biochemistry that goes on inside of cells. We have a very, very good understanding of the genetic basis of cells. And we're putting that information together in a way and with a pace that is, you want something scary, terrifying. Okay? I teach a class called molecular medicine in, this, in the winter term. It's a great class. I love, love the, we get to cover all the new medical stuff and all the molecular advances and all this and that sort of stuff. And every, every uh, week we have something called um, the um, news of the week. Where we sit and we talk about what medical discoveries were made that week. Okay? Pretty exciting stuff, right? And there's things out there that make you really feel happy for what we know. 
And what was amazing to me was compiling that information for my students. Do you know that I was able to pull up over the entirety of last term five to ten news items per day of medical advances, including weekends? Okay? That's terrifying. I mean, that's terrifying. How am I going to teach you all that stuff? There's no way I'm going to do that. It's terrifying, okay, that it's hard for all of us to grasp all of that. That's why it's important for us to have fundamental tools and fundamental understanding so that we can go out and we can understand the bigger picture. And that's what I hope to do with you. I hope that you understand the basics of biochemistry, and that's why I say it's important if you're going to walk the walk that you talk the talk. There's going to be some terms that you're going to need to know. And yes, that's going to involve some memorization. Okay? But you can't walk the walk if you can't talk the talk. You have to understand when I'm talking about a particular enzyme, what that enzyme is, why that enzyme is important. We'll talk about phosphofructokinase. Okay? Right now, that's just gibberish to you. Okay? But at some point, I hope you realize that phosphofructokinase is probably one of the most important enzymes in your body. Okay? If you're going to walk that walk, you've got to know the talk that I'm talking. And that's what, was it, what, what part of this is all going to be about. Biochemistry had its roots in the fact that we thought that there was all this chemistry going on in a cell and that was different than what was happening in the rest of the world. So therefore, there must be something special about it. You know what? You know what we found? There's nothing special about it. There's absolutely nothing special about biochemistry. That's coming from a biochemistry professor. There's absolutely, you can write that down. There's absolutely nothing special about biochemistry. The reactions that go on inside of a living cell go on inside of unliving test tubes just as readily under the same conditions, exactly the same. There's nothing magical about cells. Okay? We set up the conditions in the test tube just like the conditions in the cell. It goes, no problem. So biochemistry is a little bit misnamed. It's sort of a subdivision of chemistry because it's just chemical reactions that are occurring. What biochemists have been able to do is they've been able to dissect all of those reactions and see things like pathways. This one goes to this one, goes to this one, goes to this one. What you're going to see pathways are like are like roadmaps. If you're going to go to Portland, you've got to go through Salem if you're going on I-5. Okay? If you're going to make pyruvate from glucose, you got to go through fructose 1,6-bisphosphate because that's the way that cells do it. You've got to have these connections. And what biochemists have done is they've made those connections at a phenomenal level. Okay? Macromolecules. We're going to talk about macromolecules a decent amount in here. When I say macromolecule, I'm talking about big molecule. Macro meaning big, molecule meaning molecule. Okay? Macromolecules include Nucleic acids, DNA, RNA. They include proteins. They include, to a lesser extent, fats, not nearly as big. And they include carbohydrates, things like starch. Those are all macromolecules. Of all those, what do you suppose the biggest one is? Protein? Let's take a vote. How many say protein? How many say carbohydrates? How many say fats? I already gave you a hint on fats. Nobody's going to raise their hand on that one. How many say nucleic acids? We have a lot of non-voters here. You guys are these ones that take the polls, right? No opinion, 49%, right? That's about what this class hits, is 49%. No vote, all right? The biggest are the nucleic acids, by a long ways. The biggest are the nucleic acids. Nothing comes close to DNA in terms of size. Now, I will apologize in advance because I'll probably bore you with the statistic later in the term, but I tell it to every one of my classes because it still fascinates me. Your cells are full of DNA. The DNA is now very tightly coiled up. If you take all the DNA in one of your cells, one cell is smaller than your eye can see. You take all the DNA out of that one cell and you stretch it end to end, that DNA goes seven feet. Seven feet in one cell. If you took all the DNA in 